good afternoon once again. Storm Commander picking up one little shower moving into Marengo County and we'll expect some scattered thunderstorms possibly this afternoon because of, in part, Hurricane Rita and we'll see uh, some mix of clouds and sun but by the end of the day it looks like it'll be mostly cloudy here in Tuscaloosa. Right now the temperature though in the upper 80s, 87 with mostly sunny skies, dew point at 68, pressure at 30.02 and rising humidity at 53 percent. Winds out of the east at 13. A very nice breeze out there, so it feels pretty good outside. Visibility right now unlimited at 10 miles. But we are watching Hurricane Rita. You can see the storm in the Gulf of Mexico already uh, battering parts of Louisiana. Earlier we showed you some of that video from New Orleans where one of the levees has broken in part because of Rita. And uh, unfortunately the brunt of the storm isn't even close to land yet. And things will only go downhill for the western, especially the western portions of Louisiana and eastern Texas along the Gulf Coast. We're expecting landfall, it looks like, somewhere near Port Arthur, Texas, or near the Louisiana-Texas border. So folks down there are already preparing for the worst. And there is a tornado watch now for portions of southern Alabama, southern Mississippi, and much of southeastern uh, Louisiana. So all the things that you deal with with a hurricane coming on shore now, but we're not expecting landfall of the eye until late tonight or early tomorrow morning. Let's zoom out and show you the bigger picture. You can see Katrina. Or Rita, keep getting those two confused, but two bad storms and unfortunately coming into the same region. And a front across the Midwest brought some severe weather to portions of uh, Illinois yesterday. And uh, today they're expecting some more rough weather up there. But the threat for tornadoes for in our region will be through Louisiana, southern Mississippi, and southern Alabama. And we're expecting more rain to develop. Looks like tomorrow, unfortunately, for football, looks like we have about a 70% chance of rain. And the best chances of rain tomorrow are during the game here in Tuscaloosa, so unfortunately it looks like you might get a little bit wet if you head out to Bryant-Denny Stadium for the big game tomorrow, but uh, it's all because of Hurricane Rita, so you can blame the storm for that. Here's the latest coordinates as of 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, maximum winds at 135 miles per hour, gusts to 161. The storm picking up a little bit of speed, moving northwest at 10 miles per hour, and here's that forecast track making landfall, like I said, late tonight, early Saturday morning, and not moving all too far by Wednesday, still in the region in southern Arkansas, maybe into Oklahoma and northeastern Texas. And so they're expecting some flooding problems there. As you know, tropical systems can dump a lot of rain. So many places here could see more than a foot of rain. Some could even see two feet of rain because the system is moving so slow. And over here for us, we'll see rain bands moving through. And uh, then by next week, a front moving in to help interact with some of that moisture. But you can see the computer models picking up on Rita coming on shore and the moisture shield expanding to include portions of West Alabama. We have good rain chances basically into early next week, unfortunately, so hang on to that umbrella. Today, 91, partly to mostly cloudy, isolated thunderstorms are possible out there. Winds out of the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for tonight, mostly cloudy, maybe a shower or two out there, 72 for a low. It'll be rather muggy as well. Winds out of the east at 5 miles per hour. And here's your West Alabama seven-day forecast. Temperatures cool at least for Saturday, 83 degrees with those clouds out there and a 70% chance of rain now. So unfortunately, it looks like uh, more of us than not will see rain tomorrow. And then Sunday, 60% chance of rain. That 60% chance continues into Monday. And then next week, uh, by Tuesday, things start to diminish, at least for rain chances. And another front comes towards us Thursday, so we'll be rather cool, it looks like, for next weekend. Something to look forward to, I guess. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that you can hear our forecast on Tuscaloosa's Talk Radio, 1230 AM, WTBC. I know you mentioned rain tomorrow, so we're fine if you want to head out tonight. To the tonight, game, right? just a slight chance of an isolated shower out there, so if you have plans for Friday night football, I think you're heading to a game, aren't you? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you should be okay out there tonight. I just know, should I pack my bonnet or anything? Yeah, a, a hefty bag. <laughs> just cut the hole in the top, just in case. <laughs> uh, there's only about a 10% chance of rain tonight. The best chance of rain happens late tonight and then the overnight hours, and then it gradually goes up through tomorrow. So, but if you're heading to the UA game tomorrow, uh, definitely bring some clothes that will keep you dry. Well, no